Now, there are three common neurological disorders that affect someone as they get older or can affect someone as they get older. One being stroke, second is Parkinson's disease and the third is Alzheimer's disease. Now, what is Alzheimer's disease? Alzheimer's disease is a type of dementia. So, when someone says you have dementia, there are many different types of dementia, the commonest of which is Alzheimer's disease. Alzheimer's disease is a progressive disease which causes gradual loss of memory, thinking skills and ability to do your daily activities. This is a gradual process and for it to become full-blown, it takes about 10 years. What causes Alzheimer's disease? It is caused by accumulation of certain proteins in the brain. These proteins are called amyloid, which forms plaques in the brain, and tau, which forms neurofibrillary tangles in the brain. So the more amyloid and tau which deposits in the brain, the worse the symptoms get. Now, what are the symptoms of Alzheimer's disease? Loss of memory is one of the main symptoms. And this loss of memory is above and beyond what is normal for normal aging. In aging, there is some expected loss of memory from your 60s to your 70s to your 80s. But this loss of memory is beyond what is expected and interferes with your daily life. So for example, you forget what you ate today or yesterday, or you forgot, forget who you have spoken to today or yesterday, so you keep repeating yourself because you can't remember. And then you forget where you keep your keys, where you keep your wallet, and then you forget that the, stove, that the water is boiling on the stove. So this kind of forgetting interferes with your daily life. In addition, you may find it difficult to carry out your activities of daily living such as driving. You may forget how to drive or you may forget how to get back home once you're out. Or you may forget how to balance a checkbook or if you go out with a shopping list, you may forget one or two items on the list or how to park the car and how to maneuver a supermarket and buy all the items and pay for it at the cashier and come back. So all this becomes very difficult. As the diseases advances, some irritability and suspicion tends to predominate in Alzheimer's disease. Now, typically patients in Alzheimer's disease start getting suspicious that somebody is trying to harm them or someone is trying to steal their money or they may see shadows or visions of someone standing and these shadows or visions tend to occur at dusk with the failing light. As the disease progresses even more, there is total loss of independence and someone with end-stage Alzheimer's disease tends to be totally dependent on care. Now, how does one diagnose Alzheimer's disease? I'll send off certain blood tests, which will look for reversible causes of memory loss. I'll do a quick memory assessment, and I will ask for an MRI, which will show brain shrinkage. But now, number one, there are blood tests. So these blood tests can pick up the amyloid and tau that accumulates in the brain. In addition, there's a special kind of scan called a PET scan, P-E-T, PET scan. So what is required is an amyloid PET scan. There are different types of PET scan. So what is required is an amyloid PET scan, which can pick up the amyloid deposition in the brain. So by having blood tests as well as amyloid PET scan, there a definite diagnosis can be made of Alzheimer's disease and this can be picked up pretty early, definitely much earlier than before an MRI will show changes. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.